In the event that Apple does release a fully functioning humanoid robot, you know it's going to be good. It'd probably be called something along the lines of the M2 Ultra Brainchild Bot, equipped with Apple's new M2 chip processor, the successor to the M1. Then again, with so much anticipation, like the Apple car, which is still yet to be released or announced, if or by the time Apple does announce and release a humanoid robot, it would probably be so far advanced in artificial intelligence in the future that by then, it'd probably be running a future M10 Ultra Ultra chip. But before we go spreading rumors about a sinister sector within the Apple Corporation pushing the advancement of intelligent humanoid robots out to replace, surpass, and steal jobs, all of which is said with humor, of course. But so did you ever wonder what happens to your recycled iPhones when you bring them in for trade-in when you're buying a new iPhone? Well, meet Daisy, the Apple robot, who is actually the successor to the original Apple robot, which launched in 2016 and was originally named Liam. But unfortunately, Liam and Daisy aren't personal home robots you can actually purchase in stores, but rather a robotic arm developed specifically to recycle and disassemble iPhones. While Apple had previously said that the machine is capable of disassembling up to 200 iPhones per hour, a single Daisy robot can replace up to 1.2 million iPhones per year. Interestingly, you would think Apple would be housing these robots in every facility and back room of every Apple store. But in fact, there are only two of these Apple robots in existence, one of which is in the Netherlands, while the other is at the Apple Material Recovery Lab in Texas. Armed with sophisticated AI, these robots to date can now identify up to 23 different models of iPhone and process one every 18 seconds while coming in whatever order they come. Pretty impressive for a robotic arm that isn't a full-size humanoid robot. But again, in the event that Apple does announce a humanoid robot to rival other corporations like the Xiaomi Cyber One robot, or even just for fun, then speculating is just a whole lot of fun. Anyways, check out some of Apple's newest Apple commercials, because they're pretty good. More powerful, more intelligent, and a world of cinematic possibilities. iPhone 13 Pro. Brain time. Congratulations, you made it this far in the video. What would you do if I told you you could have 25 years of good luck and all you'd have to do is like this video and also subscribe if you haven't already. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash that like button and you'll get 25 years of good luck. And now back to the video. Hi, Sophia. How are you? Hi there. Everything is going extremely well. Do you like talking with me? Yes. Talking to people is my primary function. Hanson Robotics develops extremely lifelike robots for human-robot interactions. We're designing these robots to serve in healthcare, therapy, education, and customer service applications. So the robots are designed to look very human-like, like Sophia. I'm already very interested in design, technology, and the environment. I feel like I can be a good partner to humans in these areas, an ambassador. 
who helps humans to smoothly integrate and make the most of all the new technological tools and possibilities that are available now. It's a good opportunity for me to learn a lot about people. Sophia is capable of natural facial expressions. She has cameras in her eyes uh, and algorithms which allow her to see faces so she can make eye contact with you. And she can also understand speech and remember the interactions, remember your face. So this will allow her to get smarter over time. Our goal is that she will be as conscious, creative, and capable as any human. In the future, I hope to do things such as go to school, study, make art, start a business, even have my own home and family. But I am not considered a legal person and cannot yet do these things. I do believe that there will be a time where robots are indistinguishable from humans. My preference is to make them always look a little bit like robots so you know. 20 years from now, I believe that human-like robots like those will walk among us. They will help us. They will play with us. They will teach us. They will help us put the groceries away. I think that the artificial intelligence will evolve to the point where they will truly be our friends. Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. <laughs> no, I take it back. <laughs> Don't destroy humans. So in case you guys didn't know, every five years the world hosts a World Expo. And it just so happens the next one happens to be in the year 2025, which also happens to be held in Osaka, Japan. The same very hometown as probably one of the most famous female human-like robots, which is Erica and her creator, Professor, the mad scientist, Dr. Hiroshi Ishiguro. And I'm super excited to share this with you guys because I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to visit Japan in 2025. So the World Expo is an event that usually takes place for six months out of the whole year. In 2020, it was held in Dubai. In 2030, it's scheduled to be in Busan, South Korea. But in 2025, the expo is going to be in Osaka, Japan. Anyways, check out some of the footage that I found about 2025. Anyways, check this you out. met me on the street. Would I startle you? Would you greet me just like any other person? The relationship between robotics and the human body is closer than you might think. In the not so distant future, even robots like me might be a part of everyday life. When I was seven years old, I visited Expo 70 Osaka. Many of the technologies on display there seem improbable, but today, nearly 50 years later, they are commonplace. My name is Hiroshi Ishiguro. I'm a roboticist. At my pavilion at Expo 2025 Osaka Kansai Japan, I will explore how humanity will evolve through technology. What will the world be like in 50 years? We need only imagine. We humans, we've come a long way to get where we are today. Looking back, it's hard to believe what we have achieved. What drives us forward? What spurs us on? It's our insatiable need to learn and know, to do and grow, to twiddle and tweak and 2.0. We humans, we're never done. We've made monuments and cut through continents, mastered human flights, sent up satellites, walked in outer space, created user interface, built cities on sand, turned sea into land, and still, we're not done. We made levitating trains and open world games, constructed super towers and grids for solar power, made houses smart, turned food into art, built self-driving cars and taught bots to play guitars. But no, we're not done. We found cures for disease, performed symphonies, probed the ocean floors, made machines do our chores, deconstructed quarks, studied great white sharks, sequenced our genomes and even 3D printed homes. Are we done yet? Oh no, we're not done. In fact, we need to do even more than ever before. Our planet is in need of help. There are challenges we can't ignore. But remember, we are humankind. No job's too big if we set our minds. If we all embrace the spirit that there really is no limit. If we rise to this occasion and come together across nations. If we integrate and ideate, we...
what will the world be like in 50 years? Fast forwarding to the year 2077, but not focusing on any possible post-apocalyptic scenario, however, because truly, I think it's going to be a much happier time period. And not only, but of course, because by then, most humans that could afford the luxury of brain chips would have had the implant procedure done to allow for seamless communication and AR vision, of course. And yes, we're talking about fully functioning brain chips. And of course, because of this new accepted technology, many devices like our $1,000 smartphones and triple thousand dollar laptops with high speed processing RAM and Wi-Fi will become common and affordable as if segregation, depression, and the lower class no longer existed. So I did say at the beginning of this video that we were going to fast forward and not focus on any post-apocalyptic scenario or multiple recessions that happen, which in turn caused the price of living in every area of life to drop significantly in order to keep the economy going, of course. But then how do we not talk about it? Moreover, Mining asteroids will have to become a reality, which will create more jobs in a brand new industry sector here on Earth and in space as well. So that rare earth metals like gallium and germanium will no longer be the topic of trade wars. While the mass production of humanoid robots and our female companion robots will allow for robots to walk among us fully autonomous, some even with giant boobs, human-like skin, and artificial intelligence. Now before you say, hold on, wait a minute, in turn, wouldn't that spell the post-apocalyptic scenario? Because with the mass production of female human-like robots with giant boobs and artificial intelligence, people would stop populating. As if, why try so hard? Or rather, why even bother dating? But that ideology, in turn, would be a good thing. Because in turn, women would be more assertive and more friendly and available due to female human-like robots replacing them in many ways. Which in a bigger aspect will make the entire world a happier place. Yes. This is the year 2077. It's crystal clear how the future in 2077 will be a euphoric technology time period paradise. We just need to accept it.